Welcome back with us to Somerset Place State Historic Site. We're standing in the enslaved community to discuss the third slave dwelling listed in 1843, which we have named the Juba and Sarah Martin home. A total of 31 people occupied this house, ranging in age from 1 to 46 years old. Juba Martin was the oldest resident, while his wife Sarah Davis Martin was 36. They lived in an upstairs room with their three children, Julia Ann, age 6, Whitaker, age 3, and Owens, age 1. Juba was likely an artisan or highly skilled worker because he was the third highest monetarily valued enslaved person at $800 in 1839. He was sent from Edenton to Somerset about 20 years earlier, and he later received a Christmas pass to visit his family back in Edenton. Juba had two documented child-producing unions at Somerset Place. His first child, a son named Francis, was born in 1818 to Judy Collins, and we interpret her family on our guided tour in house number four. Judy's daughter, Malvina, lived in the same room with her stepfather, Juba. She was Judy's only child not to live with her in house number four but she was forcibly taken to Alabama with her parents later in 1843. Whether Juba was once married to Judy is unknown, but he did marry Sarah by 1839, who was the fifth child of Suki Davis. In addition to their three children recorded in 1843, Juba and Sarah had another son named Eaton in 1828 but tragically he passed away 11 years later. Their son Owens is presumed to have followed him in death in 1843. However, their daughter Julia Ann married Reuben Bennett, and together they had four children. As we discussed in our previous video, and as we have seen with the Martin family, the child mortality rate among the enslaved community was very high and the young Bennett family did not escape this heartbreak. Only one of their children, Darius Ross Bennett, lived to adulthood. During the Civil War, Juba and Sarah remained at Somerset Place, while Julia Ann, Reuben, and their surviving children were taken to Franklin County. Only Julia and Darius returned to the plantation in 1865, where she thankfully reunited with her parents. Darius not only lived to see emancipation, but he lived long enough for his statement about life at Somerset to be recorded in 1940. This document is one of two known testimonies from the enslaved persons at Somerset Place. He passed away eight years later at the age of 94. Back in 1843, the Martin family did not live alone in this one small room. Also listed in the, that space was an unrelated man, 20-year-old Hamilton, as well as Caroline Bennett and her two young children, Harrison and Laura. Their father was unrecorded, but we know that Caroline was the daughter of Stephen and Eve Bennett. She met, married Ishmael Harvey Jr., a cobbler, on March 22, 1844, and they had five children. You can learn more about Ishmael and the Harvey family in Kathy's video about cabin number five, link here. You can also click the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos, including our upcoming posts about other enslaved persons living in the Juba and Sarah Martin home. Until then, thanks for joining us, and we hope to see you soon.